decided uh, he needed to go and see the Buddha and uh, he, so he set off on foot and somewhere along his journey he came upon a man who was sitting in the lotus position meditating but he had uh, made several mistakes in that he hadn't chosen a shady spot so he was out in the sun he was being absolutely cooked by the sun it was all sunburned dehydrated and um, he also had made the mistake of sitting on an anthill so the ants were crawling all over him and eating his flesh and and he was absolutely miserable and as the bodhisattva went by he said when you see the buddha ask him how long it's going to take for me to become enlightened 
and the Bodhisattva promised to do that and continued on his way. And um, a few days later, he came across a second man who was dancing and laughing and singing. It's just in a state of exhilaration, just bopping around. And as the Bodhisattva went by, this man said, Hey, when you see the Buddha, ask him how long it'll be before I'm enlightened. And the Bodhisattva promised. So he went on, had his audience with the Buddha, and a few weeks later, came back along the way. And he, he, <clears throat> this time, he, he came upon the first man first. And by now, you know, the ants had taken most of the flesh off of his body, and he was just blistered from the sun and uh, he was practically dead, absolutely miserable. And um, the Bodhisattva said, uh, the Buddha says, it's gonna take six more lifetimes for you to become in life. I said, oh no, I can't stand it. The Bodhisattva goes on, comes upon the other man who is still laughing, still dancing, still singing, having his sips of wine and nice, uh, food out of the food bowl from time to time and as the Bodhisattva went by he said you see that uh, bush over there you see that small tree the one with all the leaves on it the Buddha said for every leaf on that tree that's another lifetime you're going to have to endure before you're enlightened and the man said is that all and began dancing and laughing and singing even more exuberantly and at that moment, he became enlightened.